Damn, that, okay, so if I had to choose one programming language to use for the rest of my life, which would it be? I'm going to be real with you guys. You have to say, what am I going to be doing as well for the rest of my life? Does that make sense? Because you can't really pick the language without knowing what you want to do. Because if I had to write stuff for the web and I could only write it in a singular language, I think I would choose Go. But if I had to do hardware at some point, then I think I would have to choose Rust. But if I had to stay gainfully employed at Netflix at the exact same time, I'd have to choose JavaScript. Right? Like, like you know, you got to... You, it just depends on how I'm playing the field here, okay? Unsubbing. Dude, if I want to stay employed at Netflix, I can't just be just from here on out writing Go. Like, that's just not going to work out. Hey, what service do you got? I'm going to rewrite I'm going to rewrite your service really quickly. It's now on Go. It's now on Go. Welcome to Go. Get professional, youngster. Okay? Yeah, I know. Then I have this whole problem with Lua. I would never be able to... I, I would have... I could not... I couldn't write... In NeoVim anymore. Damn. See? There's a lot of Go at Netflix. It's just not where I'm at. Under what circumstances would you start writing Java if Netflix told me to? I've written Java many a times, in fact. In fact, I've done Java like a ton of times. Uh, I've written a lot of Java. I've written so much Java. I brought the first logging library for our Atlas and Mantis logger at Netflix, which uh, Mantis is like a, a wrapper around Kafka, if you will, uh, and MQL and stuff like that uh, to be able to do all these streams and all that. And Atlas, well, Atlas is open source. You can go check it out. Uh, I wrote the first one to bring it in, and I used Java. Yeah, yeah, I used Java. Use monads, in fact. I, I, monad, I made monadical loggers. So, does your code run on 3 billion devices? It does. It's in Java. It's safe. Monads. Gross. It was actually really nice. It was actually really nice. Gonad. What's a monad? Ah, it's, just a bur- it's just a burrito. That's all you gotta do. Uh, how did burritos help your logging? It's a great question, Nightshade Dude. It's just that when you have a burrito... It just makes your logger better. Like, that's why we use monads. It literally is side effects. Oh, very, very simple. The lift operation or the value operation of the monad is the side effect. Think about it for a second. You construct your log that will be used in many places, and you keep on doing all of your monadic operations on top of it. And then at the very points in which you want to do logging, the lift or the value is the log. I thought it was pretty clever. And it was super simple and people used people used the shit out of it. People loved it. It's like it's it's a genuinely good library. Would you say your contributions to Netflix code is available worldwide as in Netflix shares uh its uh product despite uh the countries? I'm not sure what that means, but I would say that my my stuff it does run worldwide just because I mean that's just a part of it, you know what I mean? Anyways, I thought it was fun. If I only had to use one language, huh? Yeah, I'm setting up some services in AWS, and I swear to God, I am terrible. No, you're not terrible. AWS is terrible, and you're terrible also. But that's okay. You can get better. You can get better. Don't feel bad. 